Hi everybody, welcome back to VOB Nails YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you how to do a layered rose quartz look. I had actually played around with this design on my left hand and I just wanted to show you how to do it on a sample nail. So today I'll be using the KISS brand nails in short square from Target. I don't use these tips to create my press-ons since they are plastic, but it's more cost efficient for this video demo. I picked out a medium sized tip and placed it on this nail stand that I got from Daily Charm. I'll link all the products that I mention and use in the description box below. And to keep the nail secure, I use mounting putty from Scotch. I just take a small piece off and roll it up into a small ball and press it down onto the stand. Then I press the nail securely onto the putty. The stand is magnetic, so it just snaps together like this. It's super efficient and convenient. And if you haven't already, please check out my Bernie on a nail video. Link in the top right corner here or in the description box below. This is the art that's on my right hand in today's video. This is what the design looks like on my left hand. I had used a shiny top coat for the left hand and I used an iridescent powder that didn't quite match the base coat. The iridescent unicorn powder that I used is more of a magenta fuchsia. It has a highlight that's more pigmented than I wanted it to be. In the tip that I made here, it's more of a lighter pink and it has more of a blush champagne color coming through and less fuchsia pink. I want to give you a quick tip when choosing unicorn powders. When you rub the unicorn powder on your nail, you want to be able to know how to choose the color that you want. If the color is purple when the light hits, that means that's the color that will show through. And that also means that that's the color it will turn if it's on a dark surface like black. And if it's like this, the champagne color is showing through, that's the color it will show through when the light is shining and also the color that will show through when it's on black. The lighter color for that one is blue, which means if it's on white, it will turn blue. Okay, to start off, I'm going to be using Gelish Structure Gel in Cover Pink as the base. This is a great nude base color for all skin tones because it's not too pink and it's not too peachy. It's not too much of a sand color once it's cured as well. If you've been watching my videos, you know I'm a huge fan of Kira Sky's color base gel in the color Cheeky. This one has more of a pink tone and we'll be using that one later. Okay, so we're going to be starting off with gelish and we're going to paint one thin coat onto the nail tip and then cure that for 30 seconds in an LED lamp. And if you have a UV lamp, go ahead and cure this for a whole two minutes. All right, so back to the unicorn powders. I labeled my unicorn powders. What happens when I place these powders onto black polish and white polish? For this one, number three, on black polish, it looks like this pink color. And on white polish, it looks like this greenish teal color. So just for fun here, I'm going to take some on my fingertip and rub it on my skin and use it like a highlighter to show you. Look, you can see the pink showing through. And that's all it means. It's just like a highlighter, but for your nails. Now go ahead and take any non-wipe gel top coat. I'm going to be using this new top coat that I got from my local nail shop. It's from K-Gel. And just apply one thin layer on top of the already cured nail. And then don't cure this layer. Apply a drop of the non-wipe top coat onto a ceramic plate along with some white gel polish and a little bit of that iridescent powder that you had from before. Now taking a nail art brush, I'm just using a random nail brush that I got from Amazon, nothing fancy. This is actually super old. I'm going to be drawing a line on the nail. Now on the ceramic plate, you don't want to mix the colors around too much so that it gets mucky. I'm picking up a little bit of the iridescent powder a little bit of the clear polish and the white polish and just rubbing the brush on the edge here and then creating this line looking like this thumb here i'm going to 
drag a line from the bottom left corner to the top right corner. Remember we have that top coat. The top coat that we didn't cure on this nail helps move the polish that we apply around. It kind of just melts the line naturally on the nail. The brush is actually a really good tool to blend out any harsh lines that were created as well. Because rose quartz is an element found in nature, it doesn't have to look perfect but it is always good to look up a reference picture like on Google. Creating these different geode looks always requires a lot of patience and experience with paint and layering. So you'll see me doing a lot of different lines and using a lot of different shading and colors here. Just go ahead and play around with the paints and the powders. Sometimes you can come in from a different angle like the top left and create more pressure to create more dimension, like this. So before we cure this first layer, I'm going to add the final touch by adding only white polish and I'm creating veins. This is what the rose quartz has, it's those white veins that makes it special. And now that I have the white veins, I'm going to cure this layer in the LED lamp. And now using Kara Sky's Color Base Gel in Cheeky, I'm going to be painting one coat onto the nail tip. And I want to make sure that this is a thin coat so that I can see the veins that I painted underneath, but that the nail is still pink. We're just using this to tint the nail. And I don't want to cure this layer. We're going to be doing the same thing on the nail. So take your nail art brush again, and this time we're just going to be lightly overlapping the designs that we made earlier, but slightly over to the left or right of those original veins that we made, and we're making them thinner this time. We're just trying to create some dimension. Like I said, we're making a layered rose quartz look. Before I cure that layer, I like to take my brush and dip it directly into the iridescent unicorn powder and lightly tap it onto the nail. This makes the nail a little shiny in spots that I think are too sparse. So take a look here, it makes it shiny. See, it looks really pretty. So after your nails have been cured in the lamp, take 91% isopropyl alcohol and a lint-free wipe. You're going to wipe the nail down so that it doesn't have the tacky layer anymore. And it was at this point that I realized that I really like the matte look on the rose quartz compared to the shiny look that I had on my nail. So then I started comparing it. See, look at the dimension on this. It's so beautiful. So here's all three nails side by side. The first one being the fuchsia iridescent powder. Second is matte. And the third one is shiny and I really wanted to see what it would look like when I painted the outer edge with this rose gold from Opre. So for this part, I'll be using Ugly Duckling's Detailer 2 brush to be outlining the outer edge of the nail tip. Seriously, even after practicing on, what was it, six nails, I still have such a hard time. These brushes are really good for control, but the metallic paints are so hard to maneuver. Like, you can see all of your mistakes because it's metallic and it reflects all the lights. So you can see my hand shaking. I'm like so nervous, but I mean, this is just a practice nail, but practice makes perfect. I'm just going to zoom by my struggles here. If anybody actually wants to see real time of me painting this, please let me know. If not, we're just gonna skip right past it because it takes up a lot of my hard drive space. 
Okay, so after that cured, I actually wanted to make it official and use the Ugly Duckling matte top coat and coat it matte. So I actually went ahead and did that and this is what it looks like. So I started examining the nail and I'm liking how the matte looks on that rose gold edge because when it's shiny, it shows all of the flaws, right? But I still wanted to know what would happen if I put a top coat over that rose gold. So I took some top coat and I decided to line the side with glossy top coat. So now I'm taking Opre's non-wipe gel top coat and that same art brush and I'm just going to coat the rose gold edge with this shiny top coat. And then when I'm done covering the whole edge of the nail, I'm just going to give it a quick cure in the lamp. And here's the nail up close with the shiny top coat on the edge. There is a slight difference and you can see that I wasn't very careful with the application. Obviously I was getting tired at this point, but I really wanted to know what it looks like and now you do too. And here are all three nails next to each other for a comparison. And that concludes today's tutorial for the layered rose quartz look where we played around with matte versus shiny and talked about unicorn powders. Thank you all so much for watching! Remember to click that thumb button down below if you liked this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click that bell button to get notified for any new videos that I post. I also have cool nail art content on Instagram and TikTok so remember to follow me there as well. Thanks for your support again and I'll see you next time. Bye!